Hi, in this video, I'll take you through how to use a Microsoft hosted agent to do Xcode scanning with Fortify. As you might know, within Azure DevOps pipelines, you have a choice of using Microsoft hosted agents or self hosted agents. Usually you'll have more control over self hosted agents. And these steps I'm about to show you would work with a self hosted agent as well. However, in this case, I'll be using the Microsoft hosted one. So if you have an Apple iOS project that might be written in say Objective C or Swift, you probably already know that if you're using Xcode to build that, then you need a Mac OS system to do so. Azure DevOps has Mac OS systems within its Microsoft hosted infrastructure. And I'll take you through how to use Xcode along with Fortify Static Code Analyzer to scan your iOS project for security issues and vulnerabilities. The nice thing about this is that you can add the tasks to your scan um, of your iOS project just after building it. Okay, so let's take a look through this pipeline here. Um, so first we're starting off with the Xcode build. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling iGoat from my repo and you can see here that um, you know uh, we've got the standard um, things in terms of the configuration, the workspace. Uh, I've chosen an Xcode version. As you might know, um, Apple updates the, uh, the Xcode version quite frequently. Um, and, and sometimes some projects might work only with certain versions of Xcode here. So I'm choosing Xcode 11 here. Uh, in the next couple of steps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my uh, Fortify uh, Static Code Analyzer um, installer and license from a um, SFTP repository that I have set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've stored my um, uh, my SSH key within a, um, a secrets file within um, Azure DevOps. So I'm going to pull that down into my uh, hosted agent. After I pull that down, what I'm going to do is pull down a couple other files that I need um, to get the, uh, the SSH configuration proper. From there, what I'm going to do is I am um, pulling down my uh, license file for Fortify, and I'm pulling down my um, installer for Fortify SCA. Again, I'm going to my SFTP repository. Since I'm using the SSH key, um, I don't necessarily need to enter the, the password. The SSH key will do the authentication. And once uh, the license file and the SCA installer are, um, are put in there, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip the installer and um, and then it should be ready to go in terms of the installation. The next thing that I'm going to do is use, utilize the Fortify Static Code Analyzer install uh, task. Now, if you don't have this, you can find this within the, uh, um, the Azure DevOps Marketplace. So you just have to search for uh, Fortify. This install Fortify SCA agent um, should be available there. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the path to the installer. So this path was the uh, the path where I unzipped uh, the installer to, and then I'm also going to put the uh, the path uh, to the license. So again, that that license was what I had pulled down from my um, SFTP server. Once the uh, the installation of Fortify uh, SCA is complete. We're going to go ahead and run the, uh, um, the static code analyzer assessment. Uh, this, uh, the static code analyzer assessment, this is something that's also available within the marketplace. So if you don't have this yet, you can search for this um, and pull this down from the marketplace. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm providing a build ID, I'm calling this iGoat. I'm going to go ahead and run the clean. I'm going to go ahead and run a translation. The, the translation I'm going to go ahead and run with these, uh, uh, these Xcode build options here. So pointing to that iGoat um, project here. 
And once that's, uh, that's translated into our normalized syntax tree, I can go ahead and run the, uh, the SCA scan and look for any sorts of security issues and vulnerabilities. Now, if I have um, an SSC instance, I can go ahead and upload those, uh, those results of the scan to SSC. I currently don't have one that uh, is running that I can upload this to uh, from this uh, Microsoft hosted agent. So what I'm going to go ahead and do instead is once the scan finishes running and it creates an FPR, I'm going to go ahead and take that um, FPR and I'm going to go ahead and upload that back into my SFTP uh, repository. Uh, so that'll go ahead and allow me to pull that down after the scan is run and look at the results. So that's pretty much it in terms of the uh, the, the tasks that we're going to do. So again, uh, we're going to go ahead and build that project first. And once we build that project with Xcode, we're going to go ahead with these steps to use Fortify Static Code Analyzer to scan the project. So Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so I can click on this agent job. I can see um, the steps as it's being run here. Right now, it's looking for a, um, a Mac OS Microsoft hosted agent. Looks like it found it. So um, pulling down the uh, required tasks, um, pulling iGoat from the uh, repo, and then it's going to go ahead and build iGoat once it fully pulls this down. Here we're going through the, um, the Xcode build of iGoat. Now that the build is done, I'm going to go ahead and pull down the Fortify installer files. Okay, now that the file is extracted, we're running through the install of the Fortify SCA on the agent. So it's going and running through this command of the unintended installer, pointing to the uh, license file and pointing to the, uh, the path for installation here. Okay, it's installed. Now it's going through uh, the run. So uh, it's going through the clean, through the uh, the translate of the code here, so you can see the full command of the uh, the translate for Xcode. Okay, so the the scan is done. It's gone ahead and uploaded the, um, the FPR file. Let me go ahead and pull that down now so we can take a quick look at it. OK, so we've pulled down the, uh, the FPR file. We've opened it up within Audit Workbench, and we can see the results here of the uh, the scan of iGoat. So um, that's it. That just takes you through how to set up um, an Azure DevOps pipeline uh, to use a Microsoft-hosted agent to do Xcode scanning.